Have you guys noticed any of these eggs moving? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be this one with all the cracks in it. Anyways, we might not have time, so welcome to the Discovery Center. I'm Dr. Khan, and as one of the veterinarians here at the Central Nursery, I encourage you to stick around for the next couple of minutes, because if you do, you're sure to witness one of the smallest yet greatest wonders here at the park. The birth of a living, breathing baby dinosaur. And yeah, the smaller ones can come right here if you want, yeah? Uh, we also have monitors overhead too, if you still can't see. Yeah, come on up. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, this hatching chamber has this alert us to an IHE or imminent hatching event. I can assure you, you don't want to miss one of these. If you're just joining us, this right here is the egg to be watching. You know, they say Jurassic Park is an adventure about 65 million years in the making. But here at the nursery, our adventures sometimes takes just a matter of seconds. Well, yeah, then again, even we can't rush Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah, this could take about 30 minutes. It's, a, it's normally faster. I'm, just not, I'm not really patient, but it could take quite a while. Wait a minute, did you hear that? I think she's ready. Listen. Yes. Come on, little dino. Push. Keep going, my friend. Almost there. Put your back into it. A little bit more. Oh, look at that. Say hello to the world, little dino. <laughs> Pretty spectacular, huh? Uh, yes, you're seeing something that hasn't occurred naturally from 80 million years. Can anybody guess what kind of dinosaur she is? What is it? It is a raptor indeed, a velociraptor. Hard to believe that little baby would grow to a raptor. One of the most dangerous predators here at the park. Uh, so, uh, what can I tell you guys about raptors? Alright. So, uh, they... Whoa, not even a minute old and already plenty of attitude. <laughs> All right, sorry, as I was saying though, they, they are part of the dino group that's most closely related to birds. And they do it, they do lay eggs. Yeah, they weigh about two pounds. They incubate around 90 days before hatching. They are then born fully formed, just like miniature adults. And uh, as you can see, they even have tiny teeth and claws, which is why I tried to avoid getting my fingers in front of her. So, uh, I'm gonna try to pick her up. Whoa! All right, now they do mature rapidly, becoming adults in just about a year, but they must still be cared for till they're big enough to join the rest of their pack. As a matter of fact, that's our greatest challenge here. It's introducing them quickly to the other raptors, but not before they've been hold their own. Anyway, at least this girl's gotten off to a good start. Oh yeah, sorry. Speaking of good starts, it's become something of a tradition whenever we have a hatching to give our guests the first crack at naming her. So, uh, yeah, you got a name for her? Abby. What, what was that? Abby. I love it, Abby. Oh, just going to take Abby away. If anybody's more questions, you can see uh, Julia back there. Oh, we're not exactly paleobiologists, but we try to answer what we can. Right now, my new friend and I really must head to the brood house. I gotta check her weight, take lots of measurements. So, I hope you all appreciate what a great learning to be treated to. To everybody, we give it Abby. <laughs> this is Jurassic Park's newest tiny tear. Goodbye and happy discovery.